Is that what we look like on Free Speech TV? Are we all in our little remote boxes? I, don't I think so. Box, yep. but... Hi. <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm obviously Marsha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Peter. It's time to change. <laughs> Um, okay, if, in case you missed yesterday's show, um, uh, COVID, uh, Chris has tested positive for COVID, so we're all doing the show remotely. Chris is feeling hello. fine. I checked in with you, and we just talked before the show, but you said physically and emotionally you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I was uh, I was tired yesterday, so I slept a lot, but uh, I don't know if that's because I didn't sleep well on Wednesday night right after I got the positive result. Or whatever, but I slept a lot yesterday and last night, and I'm fine today. So yeah. Oh, you, oh, you think a little stress on top of 2020? You think a little sleepy? A little, little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a <laughs> little bit. <laughs> and then uh, Doctor Redletter and I both had to we had to share you yesterday and snap you out of it because you were in your guilt yeah. spiral, your shame spiral, which is the last thing anybody needs, you know, when you I, when you're yeah. already freaked out about your health, right? Yeah, I know. And, you know, I, I appreciate all the messages on Twitter saying I shouldn't be embarrassed or ashamed or whatever. But, you know, I I, I, I did everything I was supposed to and I still got it. So. Eh. And then there was that one guy that said, you effing leper, Chris, you yeah. bastard. No, just yes. kidding. I'm just kidding. I made that person up. That was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no. I mean, it's I'm feeling what... fine. So thank you. Good, good, good. good. Oh, yeah. I guess we should say we all all the rest of us tested negative. Uh, Travis yep. and I uh, and Jess all got our negative results back. I got my second negative result. I tested yep. uh, again yesterday and just got a negative result on that as well. So, uh, again, thank you for all the well wishes. Yep. I'm just going to stay home and have a nervous breakdown rather than make any decision at all. <laughs> kind of, you know, kind of like the rest of my life. <laughs> right, right. It's the easy way out. Yeah. Yeah. It's what we were saying. It's like everybody's going through this. It's just a... Oh, I mean, it's just an S show. I am, I am it without is. my box, so I can't even bleep my S show. Oh, I need my go. share. I need my share for Chris. That's what I was asking for. Oh. Snap out of it. Right. Snap okay. out of your guilt spiral. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kath, listen, Sean and I can tell you about Catholic school. Don't do it. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah, but we were saying, I, you know, I mean, Dr. Red Leonard is such an amazing guy. Of course, he's. Like mm -hmm. on the phone with me again last night. I'm like, I swear it was the last time I called. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 you call me anytime. And so, you know, it, it's, uh, I mean, but I get that hardly anybody I think has been as responsible as we've been. I mean, we, yeah. all of us, because we're essential workers and we work mm -hmm. together, you know, we've, none of us have barely gone anywhere. We, right. we, you know, we obviously, by the way, all the people that gave us crap for you wearing a mask and just F the F right off. <laughs> well, yes, because... we can't hear. We can't hear Chris. We can't hear anybody. Don't. Uh, <laughs> but I think because I was wearing a mask, I didn't infect the rest of you guys. So, well, yeah, I mean, let, we. I think we. You know, the air. We have the UV light ventilation right. system, both in the in the house yeah. and in the studio. We, you know, we distance, we mask, except for we me, dis which we disinfect yeah. every time someone moves into a different seat. We disinfect everything. Yeah, so, it smells yeah. like a friggin' hospital room in there all the time. I'm like, it wow. Does. So I was like, Sean went nuts today with the <laughs> Lysol. <laughs> but um, yeah. But anyway, no. I mean, it's uh um. But you know, and then I turned on the TV last night, and Dr. Gupta's like, "Do not travel. Do not." You know, and I get that I'm in an emergency with my mom, but I get a lot of people think, "Oh yeah, well, so am I." And that's how we got here. Is the people yeah. go, "No, I'm different." You know, and so it's. I mean, it's just these heart. You know, somebody wrote me today about. You know, then I get a thousand letters of people whose loved one died before they can see them, and are, they're like, "Go, you're never going to forgive yourself." And so I think it's. You know, somebody said it's like we're in, you're in a race against two implacable enemies, Alzheimer's and COVID. Right. You know, I mean, yeah. my three people in my mom's nursing home have already gotten COVID. Thank God she doesn't have it. And so, you know, I think we all can feel like we've got windows closing in our life that, you know, mm -hmm. are, are just uh, heartbreaking. So, you yeah. know. I'm, uh, you know, considering either delaying or canceling or going, you know, I mean, I the doctor says with two negative tests, I, I'm 
I should be good to go. And I'm getting two more the minute I get to North Carolina. But anyway, yeah. but I'm still, I, honestly, I'm still in an existential hell of my own making. So anyway, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but so are a lot of people. Well, and then Dr. Fauci, uh, uh, Sean, do we have this? It's yeah. like uh, he, he addressed his previous comments about canceling Christmas or that's how people took it. Here he is. You know, I'm not saying that that everyone should cancel the family gathering. I'm saying that people will need to make individual choices. And when you're talking about having a congregate setting for a dinner, not cancel the family aspect, but, you know, you have some Christmas dinners, people bring friends and others in who travel from different parts of the country. You could have 15, 20 people at a dinner. That's really somewhat risky. Right. Right. I mean, that's what everybody keeps saying is, you know, I am definitely not going to get laid on the plane, Travis, because I definitely am wearing like almost a space suit. You know what? I'm going to continue the astronaut fetish. It's making my mom so happy. She has dementia. She's almost 98. So I, she every time I call now, she's like yesterday, she's like, oh, Steph, you're just doing so well on TV. And like she's telling all the people at work, the, you know. Uh-huh assisted living it's my daughter um (laughs) don't know she's very but she finally loves me and that's the that's the final that's the hidden blessing of 2020 because she's not we've decided it is who dagan mcdowell she thinks i'm dagan mcdowell on fox news so this is this is a happy ending for everyone because (laughs) i'm obviously saying the right things finally and you're right. She does same bang, same hair. Yeah. That's got to be. We were, we we narrowed down the time frame because uh-huh. I generally call her like two or three in the afternoon her time, every day, mm-hmm. right? And okay, and it's making her so happy. I don't have the heart to say that's not me, but I need to start watching so I know what I can say. Thank you for whatever stories. She's on outnumbered quite often. Okay, that's got to be it. Yeah. This is how it's going to happen. This is how you're going to turn dark. You're going to start watching Fox News, right? And you're going to make gonna your start... mom happy. Mm-hmm. My mom. Thinks I'm on Fox News. It's making her super happy because she misses me and she gets to see me every day. So don't screw it up, Tegan or Dagan or whatever your name is. <laughs> oh, you can count on her to screw it up. Oh, Steffi must have finally come to her senses, gone back to her Republican roots. Oh, and her hair. She just loves my hair. Thank you, Dagan, Tegan, whatever. Dag- Dagan has great hair. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes your dreams just turn turn out the way you thought, Chris. Well, sometimes they turn out. The sheep was cold. Yeah, some kind of weird Republican gift of the Magi. 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 Yeah. Okay. Magi. Yeah. None of my dreams turn out right. None of the lesbian rom coms. They never end in real life for me the way they do on the in the movies, like yeah. the stupid Hulu one with Kristen Stewart. That's exactly my life. That one doesn't write. So I'm just saying, my mom finally loves me and loves my politics. It's not me, but it's a, it's a hidden blessing. Yeah. Right? I think your mom would love it if you hooked up with Dagan McDowell. I'm just going to tell her I'm dating Sean Hannity next time I see her. <laughs> tell her you're dating Dagan we McDowell. We ran into each other in the Fox hallways. What? Tell her you're dating D- Dagan McDowell. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll say, and so we're starting to get a single white female thing. We're starting to do their hair the same. We start to dr- we start to dress <laughs> the boogie nights references this morning because that is my i swear to god that is my all-time favorite movie uh if if there's any movie that i could watch with my hair on fire it is boogie nights from start to finish yeah so you've got you got the heather graham reference i guess heather graham is roller skating past your house every night no well don't i wish no (laughs) (laughs) um no she had sex. why can't, why can't well, she that had, happen to me she had sex wearing her roller skates to brand new key <laughs> but then she also bashed a guy's face in with her roller skates so. oh yes ouch. she did yes. Yes. that happen. is a that, that, that is happen. a grim grim scene yes, toward the end of the movie yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't watch it i've only seen bits and pieces <laughs> you wouldn't of it. like not, it no, no. is jill clayberg's not in it okay <laughs> <laughs> or diane cannon <laughs>
<laughs> and then my and then my theme song, my jingle, is also from Boogie Nights. That song is used oh. in Boogie Nights uh-huh. too. Oh, yeah, yeah. When Philip Seymour Hoffman first sees Mark Wahlberg, yep, <laughs> that's the music that's playing. Okay, you know <laughs> oh, I did. I'm just okay. You know I did theater with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Have you heard me tell that story back in New York back in the day? I have not. We did. Heard yeah, that story. we did off Broadway together. I had a little crush on him. Went mm-hmm. out for coffee or something. Then I don't know. Yeah passed away we he came on this show and yeah. you you confronted I, him about your crush yes made him very uncomfortable <laughs> he looked like oh, a very God. a young ron howard then he had a big floppy uh, head of hair mm-hmm. yeah no i did a, a one woman thing and he used to sit in the back of the theater every night i was like why are you sitting back there and he's like because you're just so good i'm trying to learn comedy from you oh, like, like, oh wow well. don't i have sad little stories for someone that ended up working in their basement with all these people <laughs> And then one time, Felix C. Hoffman said to me, okay, Bob, <laughs> here's my point. Just when we start to get, okay. you know, you always, what Chip Bob says, roll, don't get happy. Because the minute we don't start get getting happy. happy, we're like, oh, almost Joe Biden is, oh, vaccines. And then Buzz <laughs> tweets, Reuters reports scientists are investigating a new strain of coronavirus that's spreading quickly through southern England. You're like, oh, great, great. Yeah. Right. Well, there was a uh, he has a friend who is a former, quote unquote, buzz babe from the National Institutes of Health who says that. Yes. <laughs> this is the, here's here's the foolproof source. This is the airtight source for this story. Yes. Someone from the NIH also told Buzz that the vaccine will still work on the new strain. Apparently, yeah. I'll put in the allegedly at the end there. I have so many questions for Dr. Doom tomorrow because, you yeah. know, they're saying that it vaccine might not necessarily protect you from getting it or spreading it. And I was like, then what was the point again? Um, I guess it would protect you from the more deadly right. version of coronavirus, yeah. I guess. But there, it is kind of all, all that we don't know. And then I was like, oh, no, when I'm thinking of the anti-vaxxers, because they're saying it might the vaccine might call cause uh, Bell's palsy or something mm-hmm. we should watch. It looks like it's resolved in mm-hmm. most of the and it's like, you know, four out of 40,000 in the, um, you know, trial. Right. That, you know, you get a droop. You know the guy in, uh, what do you call it, Death Becomes Her, whose face droops and he has to keep pulling it up? Yeah. That guy. Uh-huh. The one or side the, of your uh... face droops. But they're saying it's temporary for most people and that it's resolved in some of the, but I'm just like, that's going to set the anti-vaxxers off. You know, the. the... That's, that's going to set me off. Yeah. Anyone who is in the slightest. <laughs> I'm like, half my face, bit... half my face might freeze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, no, please. No. A- anyone who's the slightest bit vain is going to be like, nope, not well, getting nope. vaccinated. No, no, that means if I if I end up looking like the monster from The Outsider, <laughs> this, that HBO series, no I just, way. I just heard I'm getting a, the other vaccine. But Beverly Hills is like, nope, we're done, we're out. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what's Eric Stoltz and Elephant Man? No, <laughs> no what, mask. What? mask or John Hurt in Elephant Man? Yes, John Hurt. Is okay. there is there Hurt, a specific? Hurt. Is there a specific vaccine that's going to give you Bell's palsy? Well, no, they're just saying it's something that they need, you, we need to watch in because they've had four cases of it in each in the Pfizer and the Moderna. Oh, my uh, God. I know, but most of them have resolved. Oh it's usually God. temporary. Sure. <laughs> that's my thinking. Like, oh, I'm screwed. It's like the old Dennis Miller joke. Laying in his crib, he looks up and sees the mobile and goes, Oh, yeah, that's coming down. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the one who's going to get the yeah, vaccine that's and what, have Bell's that's, palsy for six months. That's what I get for using the, the scream emoticon too much. I'm going to look freeze like that. I just, this will never not be disturbing, even after he's gone. It's just this, that we lived through this, right? This. The, we found out late last night that uh, the Supreme Court would not hear the Texas case. It did not have standing, according the, to the, them. The big one. I so judge by judging by your tweets, you're very, uh, very disappointed in that. Is it over? No, it's not over. We keep going over? and we're going to continue never... to go forward. We have numerous local cases where, what? you know, oh. in some of the states that got uh, rigged and robbed from uh, from us. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. How does you do have to give it to Brian Kilmeade with the poker face? Just right? Cuz he's just like, oh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. Do you worry about the country being divided as if it goes to inauguration and they still feel that way and you still feel that way? No, I worry about the country having an illegitimate president. No, That's no. what I worry about. A president that lost and lost badly. This wasn't like a close election. 
ironic. Oh, oh my God. God. Is there a number that the gaslighting has been turned up to at this point? <laughs> About the country. Says the illegitimate president that was installed by Russia. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what he worries. He worries not about himself, as you can imagine. Not about himself, no. never. He worries about the country, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, he lost very badly. I mean, he didn't just lose by a little. Yes. Poker Chris. face is, is kind of Brian Kilmeade's natural state because well, there's not a lot going on up there. Because he's stunned by everything. The yes. tides, the rising right. of the sun, yeah. the setting of the sun, yeah. snow, Ooh. rain. It's all new to him every time. There's healing, people. Really. There's healing. Are you getting all this? Listen, it's yes. coming. It's this Saturday. Yes. The Christmas, right. the Sex and Liberal oh. Virtual Christmas Extravaganza. Best of, with some new Christmas bits sprinkled in. Uh, hang on. Chris writes, Stephanie, Chris, Travis, Sean, just wanted to email again to say thank you for so much needed joy, laughter, positivity, etc. in 2020. We'll soon be having another great Sexy Liberal holiday season. Got Chris's Christmas tree candle. Oh, oh There's Christmas tree scent? There, yes. You, I think you, you want, have it. Want, have, want, must have. Okay, we'll soon be having another great Sexy Liberal holiday. Uh, a, a, I got the Sexy Liberal 2020 holiday gift package, too. Oh, my God, that's all six. Sexy Liberal. Yep. Sh- now for something that might give you as much joy as you've given me and my family. Uh, below is a link to the story with the headline, MAGA protesters chant destroy the GOP at pro-Trump rally. Yes, we played that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That Christmas and 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 me. We both came early. Uh, and now here's a question for Hal Sparks. Uh, what did he think of SNL members dressing up as COVID-19 for their Rona family yeah. Christmas sketch? Does he feel they ripped him off, too? You mean from my very first sketch from uh, the our Sexy Liberal virtual tour months and months ago? Uh-huh. No one will ever play coronavirus the way Hal Sparks did with his disgusting, freaky pizza face. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, you know... Uh, it's not the first time I've accidentally gro- ghost written on a show like SNL. It's nice, you it's know what I mean. It's nice and, homage. And, yeah, exactly. I I don't mind. A nice really. royalty free homage to the things yeah, we're yeah. doing. That's right. It just cements my my position in history as a comedy writer. Um, but you know that's it's uh, there is there is a certain gra- like I will always leave a certain ground for overlap in that there are only so many things between. However. Um, in these cases, it's it's clear they're like, oh, we got to do something, and they've been sitting on some stuff that we've already done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like what's next is there Disney World's going to do like a animatronic. What's your preacher guy? What's Which his... one, Robert Tilton? Ken the Copeland. Ken preacher? Copeland. They're going to do oh, like Ken an Copeland. animatronic, yeah. like right. maniacally <laughs> laughing. <laughs> right. Just well, I mean, he already is made of silicone. Yeah, right? we do know this. I mean, there's like the the crevices in that man's face reach the back of his actual skull. Honest to God, it, like, children scream less seeing the skeletons in the Pirates of the Caribbean. It haunts, that man, it haunts my dreams. Just the ha, 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 $25. If you could just send me $25 right now. $20. You want $20? Because that's, I mean, I have to do research for these characters. We don't just willy-nilly just go, ah, right, well, what's he look like? I'll just go with it. Well, you watch enough of these guys, you're like, the jokes write themselves. <laughs> And and he on his his entire ministry is a is like a big Jesus QVC. Yeah. Where he's the closer that gets you to buy the Jesus that cleans your gutters. Don't you feel he's like, like you, tell, selling Jesus as a timeshare? Don't That's you feel like is. you need to do Jesus the pillow guy for the Christmas special? Oh God! You, yeah, <laughs> right. You were tweet, you, t- you retweeted Howard someone. I love his pillows. I love his sheet. I love his mattress topper. The Kraken has been released. You're part of the Kraken. So for the best deals to support this patriot, use the code Kraken at mypillow.com. Yeah. And you said no, not embarrassing at all. That's- <laughs> no. Well, that's I mean that 
the entire most people I don't know like how much people have been following this because I you know on my live stream every day I go through right. the live stuff and all the way through which is a horrifying endeavor most of the time by yes. the way yes and Mike Mike Pillow as I love to call him um, <laughs> loathe uh, is paying for the march for Trump it's an it's a rolling infomercial it is the it's as if the Mike uh, the Mike Pillow bus rolls up at your house and offers free pillows to everyone in your house because they signed up using your promo code that's he's just doing that in the guise of the of helping trump because of the automatic audience it gives him and he's done the math on it i mean he's coked out as he is uh, allegedly he's done <laughs> the math on it and if he gets one of his pillows in every maga household Right. He's that's his industry. That's all he needs for the rest of his life. And that's what he's all in on. Right. There's healing people. Really, there's healing. No need, no need. Uh, yeah, I told, I told Travis there are some people on the always a yes list, and Judy Gold is one of them. I was like, Judy Gold today, uh, yes, Judy Gold today. Oh please, how I love you guys. I love you back. I knew because I knew that you would respond the most to um, Joe Biden's advisor calling uh, Republicans uh, in Congress a bunch of efforts, <laughs> and then them doing them clutching the pearls collectively. Wait, uh, first of all, the crap, his speech incites violence, violence, like people are killing each other and someone says the F word and you're just like, I, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. Now, how many middle fingers did you tweet? I'm trying to read them. You just tweeted at, at Marco Rubio, a number of middle fingers. Yeah, I just, you know, I was going to, I was sitting there going, oh, what should I do? What should I write? And I was like, you know what? Middle finger, middle finger, middle finger, middle finger. That's what I want. <laughs> want well well said, ma'am. Well said. But yeah, uh, Marco Rubio is like, Biden talks about unity and healing, but do you want to know what they really think? Read how the person who wants to be the next White House Deputy Chief of Staff called Republicans in Congress a bunch of effers. How does the party of Trump say anything about anybody and swearing and name calling, Oh, Judy? I know. And he can grab it. He can, it's just, I can't. Right, it's S so, S whole like countries. A joke how hypocritical they are. You know what? You know what is a a, a good uh, instructional read about that would be. Yes, I can say that when they come for the comedians, we're all in trouble by Judy Gold. That's would be yeah. my recommendation. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does it talk about his speech. Uh, you know, it, it talks about that kind of speech versus you know comedians who are just trying to make you laugh sorry if it makes you feel uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> right no but you're right it's you know starting from a oh gosh who i'm blanking on her name but the white house correspondence dinner i mean and you know kathy griffin does a thing with a mask and ketchup and it's just like oh my god life ending oh, yeah. career altering griffin, right? yeah. i mean it's and, it's and, you know yeah I wonder what the what people's response to that photo would be today. You know, right, mm -hmm. right. Because right. look at how many people he's killed, and it, yeah. and and why are you judging art at a higher standard than you judge the president of the United States? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No. I mean, and we were just saying today, Judy. It's like every day there's another story that I feel like should land them at the Hague. I mean, the fact that they are. And they've not only screwed up testing, they're screwing up the vaccine rollout. Pfizer has said there are millions of doses just sitting there. There's already chaos and confusion. And we were saying they're doing it on purpose to screw up Biden at this point, I think. Oh, anything. It's so it's so juvenile and 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 petty. And it's so, I'm so ready for this to be over. You know, it's, I can't. I, ugh. <laughs> agreed agreed ma'am agreed i mean and the other thing is we it's and, and it's like you, you think oh he only 
only has 30 plus days left. Uh, well, and it's like every day, every day, it's another, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, my God. I, I how want about the in jail. jail. You know, J-A-I-L. 81 million of us. 81 million of us, right? Like, we, we're so excited about this new. And the headline already, Proud Boys plan to wreak havoc at Biden's inauguration. They're planning to. I love this. They're planning to impersonate supporters of Joe Biden. Oh, you mean sane people that read? You're going to. I don't think they're going to yeah, be good right. at that impression. What are they proud of, by the way? Yes. Are, no. uh, seriously, what have they done that they should be proud of? I, well, they are proud of having other men write letters on their naked asses. That's what they're proud of. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. disgusting, these people. Uh, members of the Proud Boys are reportedly plotting to disguise themselves as Joe Biden fans to wreak havoc during the presidential inauguration. Um, okay. okay. Have you seen them? There's no way they're going to disguise themselves, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be bad at that, too. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Yeah, with the with the cut-off, like, vest, with your arms sticking out of it, your mullet, and your long hair, and, uh, and your uh, beard, and, uh, and the swat sticker. Don't right. you hide the swat sticker tattoo? I don't think so. Yeah, barely, barely covered. I'm trying to look like someone that reads. I, I, how am I doing? Um, <laughs> Judy Gold, how many times have you accidentally posed for a photograph with a white supremacist? Just out of, just oh ballpark. Oh, my God. Wait, God, I have so many. I was, You know, it's so funny you bring that up because I was going through my white supremacist photos yesterday, and I was like, <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, I, it's just, you are the company you keep, idiot. I can. How many people have posed in a Death to Jews t-shirt while attending one of your comedy show- shows? Oh, my God. You know, that's so funny because uh, I was just thinking how I miss going to comedy clubs and taking pictures with Nazis afterwards. You know? <laughs> But. So Kelly uh, Kelly Loeffler, uh, right, has uh, earlier this week there was a photo with her with a notorious white supremacist, um, yes. and yes, yeah, so it was not the first time. It's just she uh, she's had a lot of accidents. Judy, she's posed with a white uh, white supremacist and other far right extremists repeatedly in the past year. Um, mm. So yeah, she just I guess just bad luck, you know, bad timing. That's just so weird. Yeah, and and yeah. also. She's also been in uh, Raphael Warnock's church for his service. It's so mm-hmm. weird. Right. She would do one thing and say another. Oh, wow. I, it's, okay. I, don't, I think it's a coincidence that she's posing with Klan members and it happens to be running against a black guy. I'm sure that is totally coincidental. It's so weird. Yeah. What a strategy. What a strategy. Judy. I, I can't, pu- she's the worst. And she's robotic. Just yes. Look yes. at that. She has no yeah. personality. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, Judy, what? Uh, explain the mindset of people still giving money to Trump for his stop the steal when it's going directly into his pockets. Yeah, that one I I I have tried. I. It, it's like they are these. These are the people who pick up the phone and get scammed. Well, that's not true. The scammers are even better. I mean, he's not even as good as a scammer, and they're doing right. it. So, right. yeah, it, it, I, it, I, even I, the how do you not know? It's like this is just it just shows how you feed. You keep repeating the same thing; they'll believe it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Even the Georgia race, uh, Joe Walsh, former Republican congressman, said. Uh, Trump has evoked the Georgia uh, Senate races dozens of times over the past month while raising money for his hundred million dollar plus leadership political committee, but has not reported spending a dime on those races. Joe Walsh said, right. it, it is what he is. It's what he does. It's all a con. It's all a lie. Right. It's all a grift. And it's I mean, that's why he's mad at Mitch McConnell. It's like, I got to keep this grift going. Don't tell everybody it's over. Right. Oh, that. Yeah. And plus, I mean, come on. The best was. His little, his three little judges didn't vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Judy, I, 2020 has been an S show, but I have one dream left, and that is that the story yesterday that he will not leave the White House is going to be true. They will have to drag him out. We'll do it on pay-per-view, and you and Kathy Griffin and Rosie O'Donnell will, co- will co-host. will co 
Healing. 